We are with Jonas Siegenthaler, and Jonas, we know what you can do on the ice already, so we want to have a little fun getting to know you off of it. I got about 50 questions here for you, and we're just going to rattle through them rapid fire. You can expand or not, whatever you want to do. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Where is your favorite road city? Uh, Florida. Yeah. Sunshine. Yeah. Who was your favorite athlete outside of hockey? Uh, I would go with Roger Federer. Favorite time of the year? Winter and summer. Okay. <laughs> favorite actor or actress? I go with Adam Sandler's. Okay. Any pregame superstitions for you? Uh, not really, but I usually eat kind of the same thing before the game. Um, that I have my little stuff, but it's not extreme. Like, it's just little, little details. So do you find most guys call that ritual versus superstition? Do we not want to call those things superstitions? Uh, I would say ritual, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Do you have to have, a, like, a song that you listen to before every game? I listen to some uh, Swiss, Swiss uh, songs or Swiss raps. Um, I think... I, I kind of need it before the game, so uh, I ch always try to mix it in. Is that in the car ride over or? In the car ride or uh, on the bus drive to the, when we're uh, away, so um, yeah. I love it. Do the boys in the room listen to it? No, no, no. I mean, Nico's a teacher, he yeah. possibly could do yeah. it, but uh, he, he always puts on uh, like uh, English music. <laughs> okay, well, you let the captain know that yeah. he needs to take charge uh, there. Individual warm ups or team drills? What do you prefer? I would say a little bit of both, uh, you know, be with the team a little bit, have fun, uh, but, you know, being by yourself, doing your stuff as well is important as well. Also, pregame, is a nap like an absolute must or are you hit or miss? Uh, it depends how I feel. Uh, sometimes I nap a little longer, sometimes I nap like 30 minutes. Uh, there's days I don't nap at all, so it always depends how I feel on the day. What about after the game? Do you have like a, a post-game meal or snack that you love to have? I like to snack popcorn, you know, sit in front of the TV, but uh, I, I don't have like any uh, special snacks that I only eat. We're talking a little bit about food. What's the best meal that you can cook? anything I can cook you know I think it's pretty easy and I think it's it's fun to do as well um, I have like a great app and you can choose your meals and they tell you all the ingredients and then you just follow those steps and uh, at the end it turns out pretty well I love it what's your comfort food you like that nice home-cooked feel of uh, being back home I would say something Swiss um, I would probably go with fondue mm. do you like waffles pancakes or French toast uh, I would go with pancakes. Sparkling or still water? Both. As a defenseman, who is the toughest opponent that you've ever faced in your career? Uh, I would say McDavid or Ovechkin. Mm. I think those are two different players, but uh, they're both pretty hard to play against. Yeah. Favorite arena to play in that is not here at The Rock? Uh, I would say Vegas. It's, uh, it's, it's like a whole spectacle. It's loud, uh, it's packed, and uh, it's always good atmosphere. Who's the best one-on-one -on -one player on the team? Jack. Mm. I think he's pretty skilled and shifty, and uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, I would go with Jack. Off ice, who's the funniest guy in the room? Uh, I'll go with uh, Bastion. Okay. He's, uh, he's pretty funny. And which teammate would be your emergency contact if you had to make one of them? Uh, I think it's pretty easy. I would take Nico, oh, probably. Yeah. The captain is very responsible. Yeah. How would you describe this fan base overall? Uh, I would say... One word. Crazy, loud, and... Yeah, awesome. Let's just talk a little bit life beyond the game. Yeah. Do you have something that you're really proud of that's not sport-specific? Uh, maybe that I can cook. Yeah, that's a good one. Where's your dream travel destination? I would say Hawaii. That's that's one destination I want to visit. On the bucket list. Uh, yeah, and I've never been there, but uh, I mean I've seen all those great pictures, and uh, that's definitely a place to I want to visit too. Yeah, I need to book my trip there. So, yeah. <laughs> Jonas, so, thank you so much for you. for uh, answering these questions and letting us get to know you off the ice. Yeah, thank you.